So today's video I have a sewing tutorial and I'm going to be making this mini backpack so I hope you enjoy and let's begin. And for the fabric of this backpack I'm actually going to be using this jacket, I never wear it, it's slightly too small so rather than buy fabric I'm going to use this. So here we have all of the cut out pieces and each piece also has a matching lining piece in the same fabric and I've also interfaced every single piece to give the backpack a better structure. So each piece I've labelled with a letter, I've also wrote down the dimensions and how many pieces you need to cut, but later some of the pieces I actually changed the size slightly, so just bear that in mind but you'll see as we get into the video. I'll also be using some webbing for the straps, some binding to finish off the seams, two zips and two adjusters. So let's start with the front pocket. I have a zip, it's slightly longer but I'll cut that down to size. So first I'm going to place my zip right side facing down onto the bottom piece and then I'm taking the lining piece, placing that right side down. So matching them up together at the top, securing it with some pins and then I'm going to do a straight stitch to secure that in place. So now that's stitched together, I can fold that under like so. And then I'm going to do a top stitch to make sure that's nice and secure. Okay, now we can attach the top piece. So right side facing down again, matching up with the opposite side of the zip. And then right side facing again, I'm going to slide under the lining piece. So basically sandwiching the zip between those two pieces. Again, fold those pieces back, revealing the zip. And I want to hide the zip, so I'm going to fold my fabric forward just so it slightly covers the zip. And we're going to do a top stitch to secure that in place. And now we have a little flap to hide the zip. So now I just want to cut away that excess lining piece. And at this point we can also trim down the zip. So right sides facing, you want to fold over each corner like so. Secure that in place with a little stitch about 2-3 centimeters away from the edge. And as you can see, once this is folded through the right side, it kind of gives the um, pocket like a 3D effect. And I just want to repeat that to all four of the corners. And once I've done that, I can trim away the excess fabric, turn it through to the right side. Then you want to press under the edges one centimeter all the way around, and then it's ready to add to my front piece. And I'm just using my ruler to make sure it's in the center and a few centimeters away from the bottom. And what I'm going to do is do a top stitch on the very edge all the way around to secure that in place. And that is the pocket complete. So now moving on to the straps, so grabbing my webbing piece, I'm just using some masking tape to secure one side down, and I'm just roughly lining it up with the pocket. Not really measuring this, I'm just kind of working out where I want it to go. So as you can see, you just want to create a handle. So first I'm going to secure that side there with a stitch. Remove the masking tape, and then I can fold up this strap. Take it over to the opposite side, work out how much I need, cut it down to size, and then we can stitch that other side on as well. I actually found masking tape was perfect for this rather than using pins. Bring the strap up. I'm just adding more masking tape, so now I know where to stitch my strap. So I'm stitching all the way around there, and then also I did a X in the center. So as you can see here, the strap, and this is the um, kind of stitching that I did. Now I'm going to fold the rest of the handle in half and stitch that in place. And there we have the finished front handle. Now taking the lining piece, which I'm going to place wrong sides together. And we just want to secure all the way around on the very edge just to keep those pieces together. 
So that's the front piece complete. I'm now going to work on the back piece. So taking my strap, I'm just folding it in half, working out the measurement from the front strap. And then just using my ruler and more masking tape to make sure that I get it completely the same as the front. Then I wanna do the rectangle stitch again with the X in the center. So this is where we want to do the backpack straps. Taking one side and folding it over so it meets the top of the opposite side. And then I'm bringing it down to the bottom corner and then repeating that on the opposite side. And again, we want to stitch all of that in place. Again here you can see where I've done all of those stitches. So now I'm going to add some straps to the bottom and if you want to know the measurements that I use I'll either put them on screen now or have them in the description box below. I'm placing a strap about two centimeters from the bottom either side. I'm just going to do a stitch on the very edge to secure them in place and now we can add the lining piece to the back. So just like the front wrong sides together and do a stitch all the way around on the very edge. So now I'm going to secure the bottom side pieces to the bottom. So I have two pieces for each. One is the lining piece. So I'm just placing the two side pieces right sides together on the bottom piece on both the lining and the main piece and stitch those in place. Then we want to open that out and on the back I'm going to press open the seams, place those wrong sides together match them up at the seams and then I'm going to do top stitch on both of the seams and a stitch all the way around to keep those two pieces together. So that is the bottom section of the bag done. Now we're going to go to the top where the zip is. So these are all the pieces that I have here. So just like the bottom, I'm placing the two pieces right sides together. These are the side pieces. And then also the mirrored um, lining piece. Then these are the front pieces of the zip. So just like before, there's the lining piece and the main piece. So just stitch those all together on the very edge. And just like the bottom piece, I'm pressing open the seams. So taking the zip and placing it right side down, then we want to place the lining piece on top, right side down. Fold that under and then we want to add the front top piece, sandwiching the zip between both pieces right sides together. And yet again, we want to stitch that in place. So just getting it as close to the zip as possible. fold that under and then on that side we want to do a top stitch and then we can trim the excess zip and fabric and just like the front pocket I want to hide this zip as well so I'm just folding the fabric just enough to cover the zip and stitching that in place And again, we have the excess fabric of the lining piece, which I need to cut away. So the bottom and top piece needs to be the same width. So as you can see, the top piece is a lot smaller. So I'm going to cut the bottom piece to match the top. So taking the bottom piece right sides facing, first I'm going to start at the bottom, pin it in place and then ease around those corners. Then we're going to stitch that together with one centimeter seam allowance. When you get to the corner, you want to leave the needle in the fabric, lift the foot, turn the fabric, and then you can continue the stitch. So we have that piece on, and I also left one centimeter open either side. And now we want to attach the top. So just like the bottom, starting at the center, then I'm gonna ease those corners around. 
Again, I'm leaving one centimeter and I left one centimeter either side. So now I can join the side pieces together. And if you have a bit more excess fabric, just cut it down to one centimeter. And I'm going to stitch that in place. And to finish the raw edges, I'm adding the binding tape to the sides and also all around the bag. Now I'm going to attach the back piece. So I'm just making sure all of the straps are out the way, cutting down the excess on the bottom, placing it right side facing down, placing it right side down, adding some clips, and then we can take it to the sewing machine and we are pretty much done. I added some binding tape all the way around to finish all of the seams and now we can turn the bag through to the right side and then all that's left to do is add the adjusters so the top strap goes through the top part and then you just want to fold it under double fold it under and do a stitch i repeated that for the opposite side as well and then we want to attach the bottom strap so through under and then finish it off with a double roll and a stitch. And then the straps are complete and actually the bag is complete. So I just added a strap around the handles. I thought it just finished it off nicely. So that is my finished backpack. I feel like I can finally breathe now. That was a lot of work and also doing a voiceover was very difficult. Hopefully my instructions weren't so bad. I'll have uh, more details in the description box, so hopefully you can maybe make your own. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think to this backpack, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye guys.